We asked Dr. Hauschka, who've been selling natural cosmetics for more than 50 years, how they as a company are improving the health and well-being of their customers and what they think can be done to improve the health of our planet as a whole. Let's see what they had to say. So goal three of the social development goals focuses on ensuring healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. This is a very important goal because good health for humans, health for animals and the planet is the foundation for healthy societies and economies. Most countries, especially developing countries, have insufficient health facilities, medical supplies and a lack of healthcare workers to search the demand. Every human being, however, should have the possibility to gain a foundation for good health. The pandemic right now shows us that concerted efforts and individual, corporate as well as state responsibility is needed to achieve universal health coverage and sustainable finance for health. So only through cooperation we will be able to tackle the growing burdens of zoonotic and non-communicable diseases, antimicrobial resistance and other environmental factors that endanger our health. So where do we stand today? Where is the world now in achieving this goal? Less than half of the global population is covered by essential health services. However, the pandemic has devastated healthcare systems globally and endangers already achieved health outcomes. And not only healthcare systems, but also economic systems and social and cultural systems and values have been disrupted and devastated. Healthcare disruptions could reverse decades of improvement in healthcare. For example, hundreds of thousands additional under five year deaths may be expected by 2020. So what needs to be done? What do we need to do in order to achieve this goal? In 2017, only half to one third of the global population was covered by essential health services. And if these trends continue, 39 to 63% of the global population will only be covered by essential health services. Concerted actions are needed to promote mental health, healthy living, well-being, and other aspects of prevention and self-care, because we know that a higher health literacy will lead to a higher health outcome. Substantially, we need to increase the finance for healthcare systems, healthcare workers, and health outcome on the global level. We need to promote and harness the potential contribution to global health of traditional and complementary medicine in alignment with the WHO traditional medicine strategy. By recognizing and implementing these therapies into national health systems, we will meet the growing demand of consumers and patients worldwide. Their potential and efficacy needs to be supported on a national and global level. Furthermore, we need to strengthen and promote the One Health approach in research and national policy strategies. What has been our, or still is, our um, inspiration for such a company approach? Well, um, the base for this inspiration is definitely the founding of the company Vala in 1935. And there already the core values, if you look at the constitution they, they wrote and so on, these values are already integral part of the company. But then again and again on the path of development, we got more and more inspirations. And one of those inspirations was as well the Ottawa Charter of the WHO in 1986, in which DHO stated a healthy and a life in dignity is only possible if you have a certain income, if you have certain eco standards, if you have a certain education, and if you have an um, possibility to enter into the healthcare system and so on. And also have um, sustainable uh, 
resources. Absolutely. A sustainable ecosystem is one integral part as well of this Ottawa Charter. Do you have perhaps a couple uh, examples how we take action? Well, we do not only think in value chains, we think in whole value systems. And I would like to describe you three examples out of our value systems to let you know and take part in the way we work and how we look onto this matter. The first one is the One Health approach. And um, our understanding for this is that healthiness can't be achieved if one or two dimensions are met, like you have enough income and you have something to eat. But One Health means that from the fields, from the food, till the access to, um, to healthcare systems, to education, to autonomy for the women as well. This all then is a one health, but not only income or not only the food. So we recognize these interconnectivity and interaction between human health, animal health, health of the planet, um, and their shared environment. And we create concrete projects, research projects, and other projects in order to foster um, this approach. Exactly. The, the scientific work and the scientific advice and the studies are an integral part of it because we are at the beginning of this One Health approach worldwide. And we need the scientists and the experts for that to build up the pillars on the animals, human beings, the soil, the biodiversity, all these different pillars have to be worked out. And the great, great challenge in here is that it has to be an interdisciplinary approach. We can't do it with one discipline or another one. It has to be multidimensional as well as the One Health approach is multidimensional. And also we, of course, do this on a national level here in Ekwelden and Bad Bull, but of course also through our global um, agricultural partnerships, we um, foster this approach, um, for example, in Africa or Burkina Faso, um, where we have been active since more than 20 years. Absolutely. Uh, via this, um, this intent to develop global healthy economy via the partnerships we got to these projects, for example, Burkina Faso, we produced their organic she butter. At the beginning, there were um, some hundred families working on the project, only delivering to us. Now it's more than 4,000 families, more than 20,000 people delivering not only to us, but, but even to our competitors and to the rest of the world. It's not exclusive, that was always our um, intent. And the big thing is that it's a win-win-win situation on many, many dimensions. Because, for example, the women, they got now financial autonomy. They can pay the school for their kids. They can pay the insurances. They can pay uh, the doctors. And their, their autonomy is in their, um, in, their, in their life creation, in their, in their daily life. Yeah. They not depend on us. We explicitly don't want a dependency on us. And we have other projects like uh, the Macadema Nuts in Kenya or Castor in India in which we work on these global partnerships and we think that this is one contribution to a healthy economic uh, work. And also through the One Health approach and our re uh, the research projects that we started there together with many, many experts, we um, directly address the uh, burden of antimicrobial resistance, for example, uh, which is a big health issue. The, we need to tackle um, and also we create healthy or have a contribution to creating healthy economies. Yes, and, and this is a very good example about the antimicrobial um, resistance because it's a worldwide phenomena. It's local in our surroundings and it's global as well. And um, uh, secondly, all the research work then can be used globally. And uh, this is why we are really keen on such is issues like the, these AMR topics. And besides the global actions that we take, we of course are also very active in the network building and um, community building here at, in our, where we have our roots in, in Bad Bull, um, to create a new health culture, a new health um, 
new health structures here as well. Uh, what is the inspiration to do this? Well, this is definitely the case, what you're saying. The future, we think, belongs to networks and even the networks of the ne networks. This is for us the future, that people get effective together for the good or for the sake of the whole. This is the future. And this, is, this means, for example, here that we build up with the communities around us. We um, get into contact and interact with all the stakeholders in the healthiness community, hospital, doctors, um, physicians, any kind of uh, therapeutic approach. And that the people themselves living in this area take care and get into activity and get into responsibility for their healthiness. And we, we want to set up this as an example and then scale it to other communities and offer all the knowledges, all the expertise we gain in that to other uh, communities. That healthiness is being built up locally and this is a strong, strong factor on healthiness, how the local surroundings are composed.